Welcome back. So we got a rather large package in the mail today, and it was from Wheatland Auction Services. And many of you may already be familiar with the particular auction that ended, I, I guess, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And that was the Uncle Jimmy collection. And I know a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people get individual cards because it was just, it's one of those mind-blowing collections that you see come up every once in a while where this guy had sent stuff out and had autos from my PC guys, you know, Greenberg, Berg, which I was just blown out of the water on bidding on those, but also, you know, even the next tier, the top tier uh, in this particular hobby in the game of baseball, and that being Lou Gehrig, um, Babe Ruth, all these just monumental cards on card and going for absolutely insane amounts of money. Um, I was very surprised at some of the prices that were achieved, but also I was very happy I got one lot in particular and a few other lots that I believe I can kind of turn over and maybe make a few dollars. So, I'm kind of not sure where to start. Um, <clears throat> so, I guess I'll start with this unassuming uh, BCW box. Um, which has some slabs and some semi-rigid holders, and some loose cards in it. This was a particularly good lot. This is all 1974 tops. Quite a few cards in here. And I saw some of the cards, they had some pictures. Um, but they clearly did not show all cards, so I was very surprised by some of the ones that were not individually featured in the particular listing. But we will start off with this little pile of just loose cards that were in there. And if you notice, all of these are signed. There's 80 total cards from 1974 tops with signatures on them. And obviously this particular um, group is not gonna have very much in it. But definitely something interesting that I'm sure some team team collectors, so like Mike Cuellar should have been probably in a semi-rigid the very least. Ernie Carbo, Daryl Johnson, and look, Don Zimmer. So that was just the loose cards. Then you have the semi rigid ones Tony Oliva, Brooks Robinson, Jim Palmer. Bucky F. N. Dent. Chuck Tanner. Phil Necro. Fergie Jenkins. Hal McRae. Cookie Rojas. Amos Otis. Ralph Gar. Some of these I don't know why they were semi rigid and the others weren't. Joe Necro. Dusty Baker. Ron Reed. Johnny Oates, Daryl Evans, Jeff Burrows, Vida Blue, Gene Tennis, Tennis, whatever, Denny Doyle, Mike Torres, Burt Campanaris, which is actually signed on the back, Earl Williams, Don Baylor, Grant Jackson. This is a, I really like this one. Nice Dewey Evans on card. Again, this was not in the picture, so this was a complete surprise for me. Rico Petroselli and Cecil Cooper. 
So that was the semi-rigid ones, and now you have the authenticated ones. Let's try and get a hold of these. I guess I'll throw this up top here. This one, for some reason, was slab. This is when SGC used to do authentication. All these are SGC cases. So Moret, Juan Mar Marichal, San Francisco Giants, and then Juan Marichal, Boston Red Sox, Burt Blylevin, Brooks Robinson, there's two Brooks Robinson, Goose Gossage, second year. Very nice Al K line. And another Hall of Famer, Eddie Matthews. So the 74 lot ended up being $250 for everything, which I thought was a heck of a deal for 80 cards, including Hall of Famers, as you saw, um, and some minor stars, and I guess uh, some tougher ones to get on card. So that was the first lot that I went after. Now we'll address the large pile here. So starting off, we're going to have 12 baseball autographs. Um, the total for these is going to be 225. Um, and again, this includes premium taxes, shipping, everything. So I did do the calculations and wrapped everything into one. And the nice thing with so there's a nice Frank Robinson. It looks like an earlier SIG. All of these have PSA certs. And I like this because it's actually a promo photo. Oh, Frank Robinson, early on, early SIG. And I have no idea where I'm going to put all these. Next up, I'll probably just leave these flat here. Kind of hold these a little bit. Al K line. Again, everything's PSA certified. Warren Spawn. Bob Feller. And this is made out to a high school. And the inscription is to whatever high school it is. Time is one of your most valuable possessions. Use every minute to improve yourself and our community. Best always, Bob Feller. So some of these are made out to that high school, but a lot of them are not. Lou Boudreau. Richie Ashburn, Charlie Geringer, Joe Morgan, this is Happy Chandler, former commissioner of baseball, this is Lee McPhail, I believe another former commissioner, I'm not 100% sure though. Um, Ralph Kiner, and this is actually when he was, it's weird, this is the only time I've ever seen Ralph Kiner, if you look at it closely, that's a Cubs uniform. I've never seen a picture of him in a Cubs uniform. So, really interesting photo on that one. And then this is Harry Kraft. Uh, manager of the Colt 45s. So that's the baseball photos. Now we will take a little bit of a break from those. And again, th this whole lot of 12 photos, um, <clears throat> a couple of which are particularly nice. Um, this managed to be 225 after all is said and done. Next up, 
saw this and I was surprised it didn't go for more, especially since uh, Kurt Douglas passed not long before the auction. Um, so this one I spent 50 bucks for. Um, and it just says best wishes up here. Kirk Douglas, PSA certified. And he really pressed on the pen here. A really nice photo. And then this is a smaller lot of, um, I guess, Hollywood movie and TV stars. In particular, this ended up being $62.50. Um, and it's really some well-known names. So Raymond Burr, and this is obviously made out to, some of these made out to the same high school uh, that you saw in some of the baseball photos. Raymond Burr, Perry Mason, Ironsides, Art Carney from the Honeymooners. And this is uh, Tony Dow, who was Wally Cleaver. And Walter Pigeon. So, very interesting little group here of non-sports items. I think that one in particular, I would have a specific group I'm going to probably try and sell those in. I think I'll, I can do quite well. Kurt Douglas I actually might hold on to. Alright, so next up. So, so far, we're actually finding some deals here. Um, next up. This is actually two different lots of 80 postcards a piece. Um, and these are all George Burke, um, George Brace, made from the original negatives. So they're type two photographs. And these are made in the, the estimate is 50s, 60s. Is when all these are made. Now, two lots, this is, 160 photos. Um, I'm just going to go over a couple, a few of the ones on top, um, namely the ones that are uh, pertinent to my PC. All right, so first we'll go over some more well known photos and players. Luke Appling, and all these were part of the same Jimmy collection. All these have writing on the top. Saying who the players are. Luke Appling, Chief Bender. I'm going to have to check some of these too. Earl Avril. This is Tony Lazari. This is Joe Gordon. Lefty Grove. I got that one. You got Goose Goslin. Burley Grimes. Wait Hoyt and Wait Hoyt. Billy Herman. And a very young Joe Garagiola. And you got Babe Herman and a bunch of guys there. Now, for PC purposes, you got Ed Bear, Stan Benjamin. Hank Berman, Sid Gordon, Moberg, did not realize this was in the lot, nor did I realize this one was in the lot, Morris Arnovich, and then a very nice Hank Greenberg photo. So, nice little lot of inexpensive um, Type 2 uh, postcard photos. And made produced in the 50s and 60s and the total I spent on this both lots combined was just under a hundred thirteen dollars so about 70 cents a postcard so I thought it was a really good deal um, obviously I'll keep the ones I want and I should be able to recoup quite easily um, the rest of my money in the other cards so that was the Another big lot that I got, but the ones I really, the one lot I really wanted to go after, and it's the one lot I specifically targeted and won, um, because there's a few lots, there's another autograph from this PC player 
as well as some Greenberg stuff, some Kofax items I was going after, and I just got outbid, blown out of the water. I mean, some of the prices they achieved was quite impressive, to say the least. So this is a $300 lot. Obviously, you can see from the top, Uncle Jimmy collection. Um, the top card, Hall of Famer, New York Yankee. Sincerely yours, Charles Red Ruffing, Yankees, 1940. It is a trimmed card, but the auto is a nine, and it is a period auto. Um, and this was not the card I was going for, but it was the other card in the lot. And I think the, I was very happy because this auto is really tough to get. To Jimmy from Morris Arnovich, 1939. Um, play ball. It is the harder version with the upper lowercase. Uh, I actually don't have an upper lowercase 39 graded. Um, and this is the second on card period auto I have of Arnovich. This will go well with my 1940 play ball, which they also had one available, but it was grouped in with a 1940 on card of Mel Ott. So that went through the roof. Um, but I was very happy to get another Morris Arnovich on-card auto for the PC. And this was the mo most expensive lot um, of everything, even though it was only two cards. Um, yeah, it was just under $313 uh, for both cards. But I know for a fact Arnovich, having died in the 50s, is very difficult to get and usually quite expensive, especially on-card. Red roughing. Not incredibly common to find on card autos of his. So I was really happy to get the lot. I'll probably sell roughing. Obviously keep Arnovich. Um, and like a lot of the items I picked up, this is the one I kind of splurged on, but I think everything else had really, really good value on it. Um, in an auction where, again, some of the prices they were achieving just were absolutely insane. Um, and just the market has just gone absolutely haywire, but very happy to have the one card to add to my PC, as well as some type two, um, photographs to add. And there's a few other things here and there, um, that I'll add, you know, I'll probably hold on to the Kurt Douglas, um, might hold on to one or two of the 74s. I think everything else I'm probably going to um, offload and I should be able to recoup a really good number um, of my good amount of my money back on a lot of these items um, just because it was just some things that fell through the cracks and there were some other deals that if I had the money to buy them there were some other great deals but it just required a lot more money up front. Um, in particular, I was looking at a Dwight Eisenhower auto, as well as a Harry Truman auto, um, and the prices that they went for were just, a they're probably half of what you get on the open market, um, and that's stuff I've seen sell on the open market. So I kind of wish I had the finances to go after those and to pick those up, but I'd already spent quite a bit on what's in front of you, and sometimes that's you get what you can get and I should be able to turn a lot of this over get some money back and put it back into the PC so that's what I got for you my haul from the Uncle Jimmy collection that recently ended at auction obviously not none of the huge items but I'm happy with what I got and that's really what counts so until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or youtuber dictate that to you and most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to lcs or local card show or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. 
the more you'll learn, the more your peace you'll grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.